Hey everybody, it's Chris Bingo Shy. We hope you guys are having an amazing day. So, we are continuing with The Legend of Vox Machina, Episode 9, Thordex Throne. Very excited for this, very nervous, um, and we had a lot happen in the last two episodes. A lot of changes, which again, I welcome, I really like it. Um, and I'm excited to see what happens. Um, we were left with, not a, well, not a big cliffhanger, because obviously we have this episode, but like... Obviously, we're about to go into the fight, but then the exit, or the entrance, sorry, that Raishan told us about is closed. Um, Thordak had a different plan of action, so I'm thinking, did she betray him, or did she get caught by him, and she just told him what happened, and maybe something happened to her. Who knows? We're going to jump into it now. Uh, as usual, remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoy this, um, and yeah, let's jump into it. You would pay my leniency by attacking my throne? I shall turn you Leniency? To oh my god, bro. We have to do something. There's nothing we can do. What do you mean? Vax, that's now's not the time to panic. Come on, man. Get your shit together, boy. Let's go. <laughs> Anyone got another one? Percy would know what to do. Aww. The rest of those eggs are about to hatch. Grog. I say we stick to the strap. I'll just leave the others. Thordak will wipe them out in two minutes. Mm. And with our help, we can push we that. We split the three? party. Fuck this noise. We do both. Keyless Thank you, Grog. Team, go help the army. The twins will join once they get me and Scan into the nest. We smash the eggs. You smash this crystal. Any questions? Let's go. See? There you go. Just boom, boom, boom. Split the party. Let's go. Whoa. Oh. You were saying, dear. Through that wall. Hurry. Let's go. Yay! They oh, came through. I go anywhere for love. Oh, um, I'm not. Don't flatter yourself, darling. Mm. Oh. <laughs> now that we've joined, the fight, <laughs> this is so hot. Oh, come on, Pikey! Oh, this music! Oh, come on, Pikey! Oh, <gasps> Keyleth! <coughs> right, Sean. Oh no! Oh! Wait for it to the rescue. Thank That's you. Right, and she wasn't helping. Oh my God! Run on on! Oh! <laughs> so uh, what are we doing for dinner? Cash, I wish you would take things a little more seriously. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh! <laughs> Let's go! Oh god, please don't get cocky, stop! Oh! Oh, no! Wait, hold up. Is that? Um, oh! Oh, the Raven Queen! Oh, Vax can see him! Oh! What? I'm sorry. Not again. Why? Oh, how dare they? How dare they? Oh my god. Kiki, ready for the big one? Let's fucking go. <laughs> Let's go team. This music, Neil. Why? It's so good. No. Oh. <laughs> go Kiki. Yes! Go kill it! Go kill it! No, no, no. There's oh. no way that must have done something. Pikey! I think literally the only thing I think is Pike. Pike has to do it correctly. I mean, they're like babies, right? <laughs> Are you shitting me right now? I mean, yeah, but it's a dragon! Oh! Oh god! <laughs> Jesus, Sam! I mean, you just can't live. <laughs> I think you set him off, which is good. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> God. Kinda terrified. Kinda turned on. <laughs> yes. Oh, no. You know what? You should have cast silence across the whole place. That would have helped a lot. How are they gonna eat me with a ceiling on their heads? Oh, 
<laughs> yes, Grog! Oh, run, 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 run. Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Sorry, but still, you're My evil. Precious future. I will rend your flesh. Fox, what do we do? We make one last stand. Pike! Why? Pike! Faith in no one but yourself. Oh! <gasps> Garb Queen! Yes, Pike! It's not the armor! It's me! <laughs> yes! Let's go! No, she's gonna kill him. Oh! Yes! <sighs> I thought he was gonna die, but at least he's gone. Vax. Oh. This world can be cruel. Oh, Vex. But it is also brimming with hope. Take care of each other. Protect your friends. Nothing stronger than love. Oh, Vax. <laughs> Get wrecked. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, that was like the Hobbit. I like that. <laughs> Oh, get wrecked, you absolute douche! Also, Liam O'Brien. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Those two have been through so much. Don't. I want to hurt. My darling, oh. He's alive, but he won't wake up. But he's gone. Okay, he didn't die. Right? I'm <sighs> not sure. Go to her brother. Oh, Vex. Oh! I was wrong about Raishan. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'm sorry, Vex. And I should say the same to her. That's very kind of her to say that. Oh, what an image! Oh, the animation. What are you doing? Mm. What will you do? Anything I desire. Uh, are those? Wait, what is this? Whoa, 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 whoa! Your instincts do you credit, girl. Kalis. Vax. Oh, thank God. Where did she take him? Are you all right? <clears throat> Nothing is. Oh, she's not happy. Uh, <laughs> can you let me mad? <laughs> oh, oh God. Okay, my God. God, what a three episodes. Okay, very, very interesting changes have been made. Um, I'm very interested by them so let's go through them actually let's talk about it so let's talk about nine seven let's talk about episode seven really 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 liked it a lot and i love that build up with him talking to vex and being like you know like oh like i really want us to be a thing and then you know like telling everyone because 
and then she's like oh like but it would change change it so much but for him it's already changed because he's in love with her and i was like oh, <laughs> the pain um and just oh i i i love that build up with him just like being so open to his emotions and being like well actually i do love you and i want people to know and i love that and again that's very different because a lot of people will say for some reason that not in a hundred years would they ever like i think it was like ever like proclaimed they love each other or something and yet they have a lot of history i won't obviously spoil it for people who haven't seen critical role but then i was like but that's not true though because i don't know like i i just feel like i disagree but anyway going back to the episode um i really really loved the whole that poison bit that was so good and how like everybody got a weird like hallucination like you could see it with vex and then percy but i love that we got to see the whole thing with Xerxes as well, that was really interesting. Sorry, going back to the whole Percy thing. Let's talk about that first, and then we'll go back to the whole Pike thing and some other things. But um, the whole thing with Percy, that fight between him, Orthax, and Ripley was so good. And I love how like she had like the double arm. That was so cool. So, so, so cool. I absolutely loved that. And then, yeah, just to get him offering that sort of penance to her and saying, like, you have such a brilliant mind. Um... Like, we could use, utilize it for good. Like, we should. And, um, yeah, it's just so sad. Like, she was like, nope, Orthax. Oh, not her. Not Orthax. But, but then it's so sad because, like, she just killed him. And it's just like, oh. And I was hoping. I was like, please, 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 please. Because obviously at the beginning of the episode, I was like, oh, like, we're getting her talking about the beginning of the episode. Will in a second. But, like, and then she shoots him. It's like, no okay she's villain through and through so it's a little little sad because it's like again just so much potential wasted because she's so like she's this she's lustful for the wrong things not for good discovery for bad discovery and to give weapons to probably the wrong people <laughs> so it's just yeah really really tragic and then yeah oh it was just so sad. But yeah, talking about the beginning of the episode, was that particular man who picked it up, was that a certain someone from the Mighty Nine uh, Critical Role series, season two? Um, not season two, campaign two. Um, what's his face? I'm trying to remember his name. Caleb's teacher. It's there somewhere in my brain. I can't think about it right now. Someone will say it in the comments. Someone correct me in the comments. But I, th I, the voice sounded like him. So I was like, oh my god, is that him? And then, oh, talking about the end of episode um, seven, oh, Vex running to him. And then again, like the resurrection not working. It's interesting, I think, because obviously they. I think, I think it's also because um pike's story has changed it's more about her believing in herself yes in this blood in not the blood in Surin ray but also more in towards like the power that she has within herself so i think that that's a really beautiful thing for pike but also it may change some other stuff that happens in the story which i'm actually very very excited to see but also very scared because it's like oh god like if we can't resurrect percy who's gonna do it <laughs> um and then going on to episode eight the oh the funeral my god i'm gonna have to go back and watch that because like i was just so in shock i was just dazed i was like what um I just thought it was like, I was thinking like after watching the trailer, I was like, that has to be somebody else. Like maybe, maybe Cassandra dies, maybe somebody else dies. It would be like interesting, but no, it was Percival looking all clean face. Oh, uh, I, uh, yeah, I, I wonder what they're going to do with that. It's going to be interesting because they have three episodes left. So it's like, mm, and, but also it leads me to think about what's going to happen in the next three episodes. I talked about this in the comments, but I'll talk about it at the end. Um, but, yeah, it was really heartbreaking. And then Vex crying at his, like, his burial place. I was like, oh, this just broke my heart. But also, some light and good stuff. We got Vex, not Vex, Vaxen and Keyleth, finally. Oh, my God. Love them so much. And, oh, just the softness between them is so... Because there's such a, like... Uh, like a difference between them versus like not versus but like compared to Vex and Percy there's a lot of passion with Vex and Percy which isn't bad that's beautiful and that's their thing <laughs> and then you've got Vax and Keyleth who I think are very soft and like you know they're very like much like very like emotionally connected in this moment and you know you, we can see that they care about each other a lot but then 
you know, we've got the passion and, you know, we got a lot of love scenes with Percy and, and Vex. But then I think with Vax and Keela, I don't know why. I sort of like that we didn't see anything. I like that we just got these soft moments with them. Like we got them kissing and moving away from the camera and then them in the bed. And then even these other moments where like he's come and hugged her from behind or like gone and held her hand or she's done it to him. I don't know. I love that romance so much because it's just such a softer love. And again, nothing wrong with Percy and Vax because I love that too. But like with Keyleth and, and, and uh, Vax, blah, blah, blah. God, their names are so annoying because I always mix it up. Um... I love that romance as well. So I love I love that there's a l different romances going on. I really love that we got, again, this really strong moment from Vax too, because he was like, he had to step up and almost be a leader. Because it was almost like Percy was a, a bit of a leader and also Vex. But then because Vex is in this moment of grief, Vax stood up and was like, no, Vex, you cannot leave. We, we actually really need you. Like, even if you're grieving, you can grieve, but we need you because you are such an important part of this team. And that's so beautiful, like him, not only as a, like, sort of like a step in leader, but also as a brother. And then especially again, her with her father. Now, family trauma runs deep in critical role shows, and it's so good because <laughs> we, again, with animated shows or like stories, we don't get a very deep into like family trauma so that's why it's like all like just like what occurs with family unintentionally because unfortunately life is just life and like her explaining it was so beautiful because she was saying like feel so much pain from her death that you made us feel so unlovable and yeah like we saw that even last season with season two like how unlovable he made them feel when they came to visit almost like well it is almost it is no blah, 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 my brain it is very much like he abandoned them obviously fell in love again and then had a, a new life almost and had a new daughter and sort of pushed them to the side and was like you know this is my life that's my old life but i'm not going to like sort of like put attention onto it which is very sad and it does happen in real life a lot um so i i love that she brought the attention to him and it was like no you shouldn't have made us feel unloved you should have been there for us and like oh just her talking about it was just so powerful and beautiful and her talking about how she felt from it like saying like you made me feel like my love was poison ah whoever wrote that line amazing just so good and then I think that's most of what happened in that episode. And then we obviously had the fight and stuff like that. Also, can we talk about the Raven Queen popping up every time Vax and Keyleth try to have a happy moment? Like, bro, they just... Like, I don't know if they made love or if they were just sleeping. But either way, why can't you leave them alone? Bro, go get a life. Go look. Go, go, go annoy someone else, Raven Queen. And stop doing the backwards weird crap. <laughs> and then obviously we had episode 9... Oh, there was a lot that happened. Um, obviously, with the f loved the action. Obviously, so so good. Um, but then Cash died. So, and he stepped into the veil of the Raven Queen, um, or like moved on almost. Which was yeah, you know, like obviously he gets stepped on a, a dragon. You're gonna die immediately. Because um, for a moment I was like, oh, did someone like put a shield or something? That's why she, he got up. But then you see, it's like. The colors changed from orange to blue, and I was like, oh shit, he's he's dead. So I'm not sure if they're making everything permadeath, which is like, oh, it's a little bit scary, because obviously there are other other, sh other stuff to come in the show, so it's like, are they going to get resurrected? What's going to happen? Uh, but yeah, that was, I did not expect Cash to die. Um, so yeah, and Zara, oh, Elizabeth, you are just a goddess. I love you so much, and just... Oh, her voice acting is so good. The, the whole thing with Pike was so good how she finally got the confidence in her, to use her armor and, like, believe in herself. Not in the power of Saren Ray, not in the power of anybody else, but in the power that is in herself. That was such a cool moment. Um, and, yeah, also... Uh, should I loop back to that now? No, we'll finish with the action, then we'll loop back to the certain person who's unconscious. The moment with Vax. Oh, my God. Because we've seen the power of the the vestige that he has and him as a person too he's so cool but him just spinning through Thordak oh that was so good and just the animation too my god the animation team is insane on this show like they need double the rays uh they are so good like so 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 good so I'm so happy to be watching this show it's so good Oh yeah, talking about Scanlan though. Oh, and the fix, fix him. I was like, no. Oh. 
Grog. Oh, I love him so much. Um, but yeah, the whole thing with Scan lives off. So now he's unconscious. I think we're leading into a certain Bard's Lament, everybody. I think I called it because I said it in the comments. I didn't say it in my video, but we'll codename it Bard's Lament because if people haven't watched Critical Role, they probably won't understand what that means. That is a massive, massive part of Scanlan's story. That's all I'll say, but I'll try and keep it like as low-key as possible just for no spoilers, just in case. I, I, I called it in the comments, I think. I'm thinking this is what's going to happen. I think this is going to be how the show ends with Ha ha ha. Mm -hmm. People will understand what I mean. With that happening at the end of episode 12. I think. If I'm not wrong. Um, and I think that's going to be how we end the season. Because I think. Because I'm trying to think if we got rid of Thordak, if he's dead and Raishon's gone, I think there's going to be some inner conflict. I think. Not bad conflict, but just, you know, group stuff. There's going to be some stuff that happens, maybe. Again, I'm in the blind, so I don't really know what's going to happen. But maybe we get Percy back. Uh, maybe we get Scanlan back and Cash. I don't know. Um, but it, especially with those two, because Percy is massive in Bard's Lament as well. So I would really love for him to be a part of that. Um... But I really think that that's how actually how the season's going to end. I actually really think that's gonna, that that's how it's going to be. Because season one, we got the whole thing with the Conclave. We had the Conclave stuff that happened in season two. The ending was like a little bit ho hopeful because we got some of the vestiges. And that's how the season ended. But then we had the threat of the hatchlings. And then this season, it's been get to Thordak, kill him, da 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 da. And then obviously we've had sort of like other things happening as well. So I do think that it definitely is leading towards that being the end of the season. But I, I think that's actually going to be how the story ends. Well, not the story ends, but the show season ends for this season. Which is going to be huge because we've had sort of like, again, hopeful, semi-hopeful. Semi and this one, I think it's definitely going to be a negative one. I think, I definitely think it is. Just because of how we've gone so far and where we are in the story, I think, I think, I might be wrong, but I don't know, I'm getting, I'm getting the feeling. Um, oh, damn, that'll be cool. I like that though, because that's what I was saying in the comments, I was like, it makes sense that it would be at the end of the season, not in the middle somehow, because it would really clash with a lot of other events happening. I think some people are going to have a, a, a bit of trouble sort of swallowing the changes, which is acceptable you know like of course people want to see a lot a certain sees frayed frame onto the screen but i think again this is like an adaption uh, i that's why i try to remind myself anyway like in, in terms of like a book to a movie or something like that or like to a video game i try to remind myself with these things that there are certain actions that they want to change and you know it's like that so that's why I like with this it's like almost like with me like Lord of the Rings like reading the books and then watching the movie it's like oh yeah they made massive changes but I enjoy the changes and I think with this personally I actually really like it because with the resurrection stuff I was like oh my god because they can just do that real quick easy depending on how they work the story that's why I was like oh god like that would definitely take the feeling away from like sitting with it and being like, oh God, like what are we going to do? So I love that there's that feeling of what's going to happen next and what's going, like, what is going to happen? I'm curious because it's like, how will the next episodes work and how will the rest of the show pan out? Um, oh God, I am full of questions in the best way possible though. Um, please, please, please put your comments down below and in the other episodes because I would love to talk about this and I would love to discuss this with you guys because I'm actually really excited now and I like being in the dark a little bit I love this like sense of mystery of like what's gonna happen next I'm actually really excited now but anyway I think that's enough um I'm just trying to think if there's anything I need to say oh yeah for people who are watching my streams no streams this weekend I'll be away um we're back on Monday with Kingdom Hearts um Probably 7, no, not 7.30. 4, 30, 5 o'clock my time, Australian Easter Standard Time. But yeah, I think that's it. Just trying to think. Yeah, anyway, leave your comments down below. Remember to like if you enjoyed and subscribe. We'd really, really appreciate the support. Um, but yeah, that's all for now. Thank you guys so much. And I'll catch you guys next week for the last three episodes of uh, the show. <laughs> Crazy Daniel out. <laughs>